What's up, Virgo? This is your love forecast for the first two weeks of August. That's August 1st through till the 15th. This is for my Virgo sun, moon, rising, and Venus, and for the cross watchers. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to throw me a like and a comment. And if you are new to my channel, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to keep up with me as I get them out to you. Okay, so let's get started. Spirit, what's coming in for my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the area of love, first half of August? Any love messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, first half of August? What can you tell my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus about love, first half of August? Okay, hey Virgo. All right, so first of all, I do see that there's a situation that's testing your strength a little bit here with the strength card, okay? You could be dealing with the Leo. I do see you're gonna be victorious, okay? Six of Wands is here and Page of Wands. Page of Wands is someone coming forward with an offer for you, okay? Communication and an offer, passionate offer, okay? A lot of passion with this person that comes to mind, Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is someone coming forward to offer you a new beginning. All right, the two of pentacles to me means that something's been out of balance between you and this person. That could be why it's testing your strength. Maybe some ego battles, maybe also decisions and choices, okay? So there could have been some juggling or some other, you know, aspects that are interfering. This person that comes to mind could be juggling quite a lot. If it's not people, it could be financial, it could be other factors. Um, and I feel like that's been stalling your connection in some way and testing your strength. Okay, what's this page of wands? What does this person want to offer Virgo? This page of wands. The sun. Yeah, again, Leo energy, okay? Um, but also this is about someone seeing things from a new perspective, okay? So if things were out of balance with this person, um, I do see that this is about new perspective. So perhaps you've taken a step back or, um, you know, you've decided to maybe give a little bit less to this person. And I think what that's doing is creating new perspective and new passion in the connection, this person wanting to come forward and making an offer for a new beginning. This is also about getting clarity, okay? So perhaps, you know, this person's juggling a lot and therefore hasn't been really seeing the connection very clearly, but this is about clarity, illumination, and a new beginning. It's a really happy card, okay? So victory, as I said, tell me about this six of wands. Three of Wands, I think you've been waiting for this for quite some time, Virgo, okay? Three of Wands, waiting for your shits to come in and you're going to be victorious, okay? So like I said, I think if, you know, with the Two of Pentacles, this is about balance. So if you feel like you've just been investing more into a connection than the other person and it's testing your strength, I feel like now you're finally, you know, the scale's going to tip and things are going to become a lot more balanced. So it's what you've been waiting for and you're going to be victorious. Tell me about this three of wands and the six of wands. Lots of wands energy, guys. So very much could be dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the world. This person could live at a distance, okay? Um, or if not, this is about things tipping and changing and closing out old cycles for new beginnings, okay? Yes, oh my God, I said it. So much about balance here, guys, okay? Six of pentacles, this is about things being more balanced, all right? I do feel like... You know, with this person, like I said, you could have been more invested or giving more and they're not giving you as much, okay? This is kind of like breadcrumbing energy or just one person, like I said, being more invested than the other. It's all about balance, give and take, which I think before you didn't have and it's been kind of a test of your strength. Um, and you probably are standing very strong now and that's why you've got this new beginning and this person seeing you in a new light. Tell me about the strength card spirit. Tell me about the strength card for Virgo. Yeah, okay. You could have had a painful ending with this person as well. All right. Um, maybe because their things were out of balance and you felt like you were giving too much, so maybe you decided to cut things off. Ten of Swords here. Okay, so yeah, painful ending. Um, maybe there was some backstabbing in the connection as well. All right, so maybe if there was some juggling of third parties or other people, there was some backstabbing. Um, third party or other people interfering, throwing the connection off balance, um, you know, then that's probably what kind of created a rift between you two. 
and tested your strength, okay? And I think that you are standing strong now. Maybe you decided to end things. Queen of Cups here. Queen of Cups is someone that is um, very intuitive. So maybe you were picking up on some stuff that wasn't right in the connection. And so you decided to kind of create some distance between you and this person. All right, you also could be dealing with a water sign and their feminine energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Doesn't have to be, but basically this is also about nurturing. So this person could be missing you quite a lot. Maybe you're standing strong now and they're missing your nurturing, okay? Your nurturing nature. Maybe because things were out of balance, they didn't kind of see you for who you really were. They were juggling other things, other people. They were distracted, okay? But Page of Wands, like I said, is new perspective and clarity, okay? By you kind of standing strong. And now they want passion with you. Yes, as I say, passion. King of Wands, clarifying Ace of Wands. So King of Wands, again, could be dealing with a masculine fire sign energy. Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, and this person wants to take action now. They're fired up to recreate passion with you, a new beginning, okay? What is this person going to do? Hanged man. The chariot. No, nah, okay, I was going to say hanged man, they're stuck, but no, they're coming unstuck now, okay? Um, with the chariot card, this is like movement towards you. So they're fired up to move things forward with you, okay? Now the chariot card, you could be dealing with a cancer. Again, a distance card, so this person could live international or at a distance, or otherwise this does represent actually just moving forward or even just wanting to see you, even if you're in the same town, it's like literally getting in the car and moving towards you. Either way, this is coming unstuck, okay, to create a new passion. Yes, Knight of Cups, they want to make a love, love offer to you, okay? They might also want to apologize for some things with this Knight of Cups, okay? But this is an emotional offering, again, water energy, okay? Devil card is here and I'll take it. There could have been some toxicity in this connection. It could be, you know, the stuff that they were juggling was really unhealthy, um, and created the imbalance between you guys. Maybe there were addictions or maybe there was, you know, fears or there were things that were bonding this person to um, unhealthy, you know, habits, etc. that were interfering between you, um, like getting in the way of the connection. So what do they want to move forward and offer now besides the passion to Virgo? Oops. They want to work on things, okay, with that Eight of Pentacles, and they want to speak their truth, Ace of Swords, okay? I feel like you stood, you stood in your power here, Virgo, okay, with this Ace of Swords. This is about you standing in your power. As I said, you're standing very strong, okay? But this is also about someone wanting to come forward and speak their truth, maybe about their feelings for you, maybe about everything that's happened, um, being honest with you that they want to communicate, sorry, that they want to work on things with you and work on the connection, repairing anything that got in the way, the damage. Emperor card, they want to offer you stability, okay? Emperor card, four card stability, but also um, husband and father figure, okay? So you could um, see this person as your long-term Aries energy, um, someone that you want to marry and um, or have children with, okay? And they could be seeing that, seeing you in that way now that you're very strong and saying that, that they want to work on that with you. Also, strong divine counterpart energy, um, divine masculine. You could be dealing with a twin flame or a soulmate, okay? King of Pentacles sitting here as well. So this is about loyalty. So they want to offer you loyalty and stability, okay? This could be a businessman. This is uh, an earth sign, um, man often as well, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, okay, this could be you in your masculine energy, okay, so good, so I think someone wants to come off it, come forward towards you, uh, Virgo, and offer you something serious and stable, so that's great news, how is this person feeling about Virgo's spirit, I'm going to get a romance angel for you guys, how's Virgo's person feeling about Virgo, make the effort, they want to make an effort now, you see, Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So they're having some realizations about you. Maybe they didn't make enough effort in the past. But they're going to make the effort now. You're going to put in the work. New love. Okay, so this is about, see, the new passion. Recreating the passion. This is about recreating the love with you. Okay. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. 
separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. I feel like you're in separation from this person, as I said. I think that they could be at a distance or you could have decided to walk away and stand strong and speak your truth, okay? However, I do feel like they're going to make the effort now. You deserve love. As seen here at the top of the deck. You are lovable. This person seeing you is very lovable, okay? They're probably recognising you now and seeing that maybe they didn't make enough effort before, okay? Forgiving and learning is also sitting here. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay, I'm just going to get a wisdom of the oracle for you guys to wrap up. Spirit and wisdom of the oracle for Virgo. Come to the edge. Yes, new beginnings. This person wants to take a leap of faith to recreate the love and the passion. Fork in the road. They're already planning it. They're making the plan, okay, to move towards you. Oops. Time to go. They've got to leave some toxicity behind, okay? But that's, I think, what they're already working on to release. And I think they're going to tell you that when they communicate with that Ace of Swords, the fates, okay? Fates at work. Last one. Between worlds, it's kind of like that fork in the road, okay? So this is like they're making the plan. They haven't yet done the, you know, made that leap. Things have been stuck, but now they're going to move forward, okay? That's really positive, guys. <sighs> Good things coming in for you. I feel like you've been waiting for this, all right? Um, I hope that it resonated for you guys, and if it did, give me a like and a comment, as I said, and I will check in with you in two weeks' time, all right? Lots of love.